So before I unveil this declaration, I want to explain why we have done this. This is the vision of the Zermatt Summit Board. And the goal of this declaration is really to help leaders in society define a sense of purpose, vision, vigilance, and commitment. So it's actually a, a way to help leaders in society. And it was the common vision of this board. So I will unveil this now, and then I will read the declaration in English. And this declaration, in fact, is available, will be available in the lobby so that you can sign. And it will also be an uh, a ver um, electronic version on internet so that we can collect more signatures. The goal of this declaration is also to show it to some personalities and leaders in the future so that the vision of the Zermatt Summit be better known. There are two other documents which go with this declaration before I read it. The first one is the Zermatt Summit Manifesto, which you have gotten in your folders, which is dedicated really to the business world and is a very important contribution from Philippe de Wout and Henri-Claude de Bettigny, which is with us here today. Please stand up, Henri-Claude, so we see you. Thank you. And this will be also on the web and will also be on our website and will also be available as I said, in your folders. And then there's another document which is called About the Common Good, which exists in French and English, which is also a work which has been a uh, reflection which took place over one year and which was written by our Secretary General here, Antonin Pujols, a reflection which is a wider definition of the common good. Antonin. We, the members of the Zermatt Summit Foundation Board, signatories of this declaration, affirm that the dignity of, human, of the human person and the inviolability of his and her rights must be the foundation for relationships between the citizens of the world and that respect for these two principles must prompt states, other national and international public authorities, civil society, and economic operators to govern decisions and act resolutely towards the common good. Point out that human dignity is the principle from which all human rights stem, and that this principle is invoked by many conventions, universal or multilateral declaration, as well as by many national constitutions. Support the values of freedom, equality, solidarity, subsidiarity, and respect for creation, affirm the necessity of protecting the cultural diversity of humankind, are convinced that the resolution of the present crisis depends on greater acceptance of responsibility and determined commitment by each individual to promote the common good in a spirit of service and love. This appeal is all the more urgent in that the great challenges facing humanity are becoming more threatening. Note that social market economy, as well as free enterprise, has enabled humanity to make real progress and has made goods and services available to an even greater number of people. Would like to see an economy driven by the concern of the com for the common good, supported by financial mechanism at the service of the real economy, which are keen to foster development that respects the human person, in particular those that are most vulnerable and that cares for the natural world and the ecosystem. Reaffirm that the exercise of power is legitimized by seeking the common good, by the humanization of social life, by respect for fundamental freedom, in particular freedom of conscience, freedom of worship. Deplore that exclusive desi desire for profit and thirst for power, which is, as the root, which is at the root of so much human drama, hinders the development of the whole man and of all men to the full. Encourage, consequently, each and every person, particularly those who exercise economic or political power and who are actively involved in all levels of society, 
in both the public and private sectors to serve the common good of the whole human family with courage, boldness, and to actively promote peace in the world. Recommend that firm and effective reference be made as widely and constantly as possible to the common good as the guiding principle for humanity to commit to regulating its activities with greater solidarity while considering each person as an end and not as a means. Propose to share with all women and men of goodwill reflections on the importance of the common good by virtue of which each one is called to see his or her own good in the good of others. And our conviction, our conviction that by making the common good the guide for actions and the criterion for our decisions, we can individually and collectively work for civilization and progress while respecting our human nature and natural nature generally with a view to achieve shared prosperity, sustainable development, peaceful coexistence, and ultimately the realization of our natural and, univers and universal aspiration to happiness. And finally, invite all women and men of goodwill to commit themselves to the common good and to the signing of this declaration. And it's signed by all members here. One is missing, which is Theodore Malloc, who could not be with us today. Thank you very much.